So to start out your fourth grade math, we started with place value. Now they learned a little bit about place value in third grade, but they only went up to the thousands place. This year we're going to take them all the way to the hundred millions place. So what I did was I put together a series of houses to show your child the different periods, which is what we call them when you group together the different place values. The first one that we have is your ones place, your tens place, and your hundreds. So I put this under the ones house. Over here, we have your 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000, and that's under your thousands house. Then you have your millions, 10 millions, and hundreds millions place, and that's under the millions house. So that was the first thing I did to show them. The second thing that's really important that your child understands is that as you go from right to left, each place value is 10 times the amount of the place value before it. The reason why that's important is that when we start to solve our long division and our multi-digit uh, multiplication, they're going to want to really understand the different place values. The second thing that your child needs to know is three different ways to write the place value or to write the long numbers. So we have the number 973,461,824. So the three different ways that I taught them are standard form, expanded form, and written form. Standard form is going to be just what you think of. You're just going to write out the number, putting a comma starting right to left every three digits. Then you have expanded form. And this is where your child really has to think about what place value each number has. So we start with the nine. If you see, we have 900 million. So you're actually going to write out 900 million. Plus, we know we have 70 million. 70 million plus 3 million plus 400,000, 60,000, 1,800 plus 20 plus 4. And the reason why we have them write this out in expanded form is that they can go deeper and really understand that each number has its own value based on where it is placed. Then we come down here and we have written form. And what I've said to your child is just think, how do you say the standard form? Think that in your head and then you write it out in words. So you have 973,461,824. In our next lesson, I'm going to show the children how they can take place value and go a little bit deeper, and we can show how large numbers are composed and decomposed. I'll see you in math class.